is how to play the game! That is an epic fucking intro, dude. And I have to warn everyone, warning, what you may see right now is going to be absolutely disgusting. Sound good? All right, that sounds good to me. Well, ladies and gentlemen, shout out to Straight Cash Homie who took me $12. How's it going, man? You're liking this game so far. Like I said, I do like the game. I'm frustrated at parts, but I do like the game a lot. Guess what? We hit a hundred dollar tip total, guys. Do you know what that means? It means that for the final half hour of the stream, it's vest time. Once again, it happens again. All right, since, since I'm putting on the vest, I'll turn on the fan because the sun came out outside, so I don't want to get too hot in here. So beautiful. I, I almost cried. Yes, Polish Frog. We did, we did hit the tips goal, and I did wear my vest on today's day stream. I'll be honest, tonight contributions are very slow, so it's not looking like we're going to really be, be wearing the vest tonight. <laughs> I'm having fun with the game. I'm having fun hanging out with you guys, but, uh, you know, we definitely are not off to a, uh, a speedy start. Let's put it that way. If I told you guys, I'd be happy just to stream without having any contributions. I especially appreciate you tipping, because that's helping me more than anything right now, so thank you for that. We're now up to $15 in tips tonight, guys. Remember, if we do hit the tips goal, I'll put on the vest. I don't know why people love to see it, but just throwing that out there. Chucky Jack did a 100-bit cheer, biggest cheer of the night. He says, the vest sucks. Wow. Chunky Jack is rebelling. Chunky Jack is rebelling. This private all-star wants me to check the tag on the vest. Well, the vest is over there. If we hit the tip skull and I put the vest on, I'll check the tag on the vest and I'll tell you what kind it is. Ha 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 See what I did there? I hate you, Phil. Tip me $6. For someone who hates me, tipping me is pretty funny. He says, do you like this game? Because you can suck up money, you greedy pig. That's right. That's the cool things. That's why I really like the game, of course. Mature adult cheese. I could have sworn I heard a baby crying just before. Getting to a, a baby human will make you tired. Uh, no, I don't have a baby, and I'm not tending to any baby human. Apparently, this is some new stupid rumor that we have a baby. We don't. I, if you can believe it, from what I'm to understand, this rumor started when I was playing uh, Warzone, and there was a refrigerator in the game that was making weird noises, and some idiots watching, restreaming my stream, of course, Said, oh, it sounds like a baby. That must be a baby in the background. Phil and Cat have a baby and they're just not telling anyone. What? No. It was the fucking refrigerator in the game. I even said, geez, the refrigerator is loud when I walked by it. Um, it's Tevin's fault. Uh, PW Doves to me, $1.30. He says, I had a, no, I didn't have a baby. PW Doves, shut up. <laughs> I literally just said a million times, I don't have a baby. I never had a baby. And he's like, you had a baby? Oh my God. No, I have a baby. Stop being stupid. Well, Fripp, listen, thank you for the cheer, but I'm not a father of a human. I am a father of a, of a cat, though. I'm a cat dad, as they say. A cat dad. Uh, my goals in life are to, number one, continue to be a good husband to my wife and uh, a good father to my cat. Jasper is basically like my kid, you know? And, he, you know, that's the truth. If you don't see it that way, well, that's your own personal way of seeing things. That's how I see it, so. Yeah, yeah. King of Box, she says, Jasper Burnell. F funny enough, my parents sent Jasper uh, his Christmas presents um, and addressed them to Jasper Burnell. <laughs> so they show up Jasper Burnell. Like, Who's Jasper Burnell? <laughs> we know who he is. <laughs> Swaggins, you're completely wrong. I love, I love this shit. Already, not even like 12 hours since a news story hit the internet, and already the news story has completely be become horseshit. Swaggins literally just says to me, did you hear it? There's a cat who got coronavirus, COVID-19, from their owner and has horrible symptoms. Completely fucking wrong. There's a cat that's sick. They tested it. It says it has coronavirus. But the thing is, cats get coronavirus all the time. They get all kinds of coronavirus. There's intestinal coronavirus. There's other variations. And cats actually get it all the time. It's not transferable to humans. And they actually said they don't know if what the cat has is COVID-19 or if it's a different form of coronavirus. Its symptoms didn't aren't in line with the symptoms that the humans are getting because it was like vomiting a lot. And that's actually not one of the symptoms of COVID-19. So they're thinking that maybe it's that's not the case. So this is just a story completely blown out of proportion because someone's a fucking idiot and wanted to make a cheap headline. 
All right, guys, at this time, with only half an hour left on stream, actually less than that, I'd like to say thanks to everyone who did contribute tonight. Chunky Jack, thanks for the cheering. And Jasper's Vest, thank you for the $10 tip. It really doesn't look like we're hitting the tip skull tonight. Like I said, contributions tonight have been pretty slow, which is fine. Contributions have been really good recently. I'm not going to sit here complaining. But I'm just saying, you guys, you know, thank you for hanging out with me. I hope you're enjoying the stream regardless. <clears throat> I know you guys don't come here 100% to see the vest every day, damn night, so I'm sure it's not that big of a deal to, to you guys. <laughs> I, may be, I may be living month to month, paycheck to paycheck, begging for fucking tips and shit on stream for the rest of my life. Super Flash Cheery said, how much for you to wear the vest with the Yoshi costume on top of it off with the cowboy hat? You look like a Japanese boomer dude ranch here. How about this? I'll wear the vest. I'll wear the Yoshi hat. I'll wear the Sonic hat on top of the Yoshi hat. I'll wear the cowboy hat on top of that. It'll look like a big totem on my head. Does that sound good? <sighs> Terry Bolas took me $5. Says, if we reach a $400 tip goal, will you do 25 push-ups with proper form? I got deep pockets. Uh, this is not about uh, doing stupid stunts. One thing, it's one thing to put on a silly vest that I can just put on and not hinder the actual stream. That's okay. No, we're not doing workout fucking streams and stuff. We're not doing ridiculous stunts. I've learned my lesson from Minecraft that when you give an inch, everyone takes a fucking mile. So I'm not doing ridiculous over-the-top shit. Absolutely not. Okay, let's buy that. It's the laziest kind of content possible, and all it does is propagates toxicity. So. All right, so anyone who wants to be insulting to other stream viewers, I'll tell you right now, you're going to get banned. That includes you, Super Flash. Insulting people because he says, oh, yeah, if you, if you tipped a level of $11, you're a simp, man. You're a simp. Yeah, well, you're a fucking asshole. How about that? Because, by the way, this Theo just tipped the $11, and we hit this, the uh, tip's goal. Thank you very much, guys. Thank you, Distio. You're not a simp. You're a nice person. Super Flash is the fucking asshole of the night, though, for saying stupid shit like that. All right. I'll get the vest for 10 minutes. <laughs> wow. Well, that's the most generic thing ever. So... You guys, they're asking all night, what's the brand, right? What's the brand? The most generic brand ever. Yeah. Weatherproof brand. That's the name of it. It's probably cheap. It's probably not, not a, a good brand or anything. Weatherproof. <laughs> oh. That is the brand. That's an, It says weatherproof brand since like 1944 or something. The name of the brand is actually weatherproof. I wonder if it's if they still exist. You know, I mean, this this vest is old. Like I said, it's over a decade old. So you wonder if the company's still in existence at the same time. If they've been around since 1944, they probably are. <laughs> so you see that my streams are the opposite. When you go to one of these streams with one of these stupid girls who who people are so dumb that they'll pay them like to take their clothes off. Here you pay to have me put clothes on because I'm so disgusting. No one actually wants to see my body, so you like cover yourself up more. So actually, if you if we if we double the tip skull tonight, I'll put on a full body parka. And then if we quadruple the tip skull, I'll dress up like, like, uh, Ralphie's little brother in A Christmas Story when he's going out to the, and his mom dresses him up for the winter and he can't move his arms because he's encased in so many sweaters. I'll dress up like that. So there you go. <laughs> yes. There you go. That's what we'll do. That's the next thing. That's the next evolution. I think I need, a. Uh... By the way, I don't really have a parka, so don't expect... I was joking. I don't have a parka that I could put on. I don't care you are stupid so here's what's hilarious about this whole situation now my detractors hate the fact that my supporters actually like this whole vest thing because they realize that now i've been actually doing well with tips recently because of it and they are infuriated by this they're like we don't want phil to ever do well so how dare he actually have people like like you know tipping him to put on a vest and but so they're trying to make fun they're trying to insult they're trying to do everything they can it doesn't work people still like it and it's still happening so it's pretty awesome um there you go give me the money it seems they have my attention no 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 it's the opposite you know, you know what's the saying? I live rent-free in their heads 24 fucking 7 when literally everything I do on every one of my streams is all they talk about when they have to illegally restream everything I do when they have to cut what I do to make a video about it constantly on YouTube when every little thing like a vest in a stream is on their tongues every moment I'm the one who lives rent-free in their fucking minds constantly That's the truth of the matter Without me, they don't fucking exist <laughs> Alright, I did it I mean, it's rare when I have to come out and say, guys, we really need tons of money today. When do I say that, right? Very rarely. I mean, like I said, the one time was the end of last year when a tax situation came up out of nowhere. I don't, I don't feel that I'm in a situation where I do those kind of things. Um, 
you know, there's sadly there are people out there who exploit, uh, and they find ways to exploit, exploit, exploit constantly. Huh, Polish Fox says, isn't it crazy that something as silly as a vest can make people be upset? It's not the vest, it's it's the fact that I am successful, that I'm putting out positive streams, people like them, people are contributing. They just want to believe the opposite. They want they, 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 they want to think that everything's bad and whatever, and it's not. The truth of the matter is things are good right now. So to them, it's like, ah. What can you do? You know, you're, you're fucked. Sorry, I put out good streams. People like them. People contribute. They like this this running uh, gimmick recently that they want to see the vest. You know, oh well, tough shit. Get a fucking life maybe and stop, you know, completely obsessing over every little thing that I do. Maybe you wouldn't give a shit and you realize that you're just wasting your time regardless, but fuck off. Alrighty then. <laughs> Alright, this is going to be it, guys. Oh, Latina Catalina did 100 bit cheese. If the vest and cowboy have their tip skulls, does that mean they're... Pieces expenses can be deducted as such. No. They call me a lol cow. Dark side filled the lol cow. Last night, out of nowhere, I did a review. What? That's right. I know. I usually don't do reviews anymore, but I did a product review last night. The Hori Sp Split Pad Pro for the Nintendo Switch. Give it a look. It's live over on DSP Gaming. I almost never do product reviews ever, but I had an opportunity to do one, and I did one. And that's really all I have to say about it. Give it a look. Say so if you're interested in an accessory for your Nintendo Switch. You're probably gonna wanna, you know, watch that review. Okay? What's the best way to contribute if I really, really wanna help you out the most? The answer there is tipping me. Reason being, when you tip me, um, those tips immediately can be used for something positive. All right? Whether it's paying a bill, whether it's grocery shopping, whether it's buying a game, whatever it may be. And in particular, I've got, at this point, I'm trying to think, remaining two more bills that i got to pay by the end of this month. And it's been your tips, you know, this week that have helped me out with all that. So please consider tipping me if at all you can today. No. All right. The last Rambo cheered overnight. <clears throat> and he asked a couple of questions. The first question he says is, Would you admit you became less patient with Soulsborne games such as Blasphemous and Neo 2, judging for your commentary and feedback? No. Not at all. In fact, if you watch my ongoing commentary and feedback for that style of game, I really don't feel that it's changed at all. What I would say is, um, with Neo 2 in particular, the reason that I'm so frustrated at the game is because even knowing the game mechanics, right? I would say the only thing that I wasn't doing properly up to now is the blacksmith. But I was switching stances, I was using <clears throat> the yokai shifts and everything. You know, knowing all the game mechanics, still, <clears throat> still, I'm struggling with the game just because... They made it that every single goddamn enemy can, like, basically, like, instantly kill you. Every enemy in the game. If they hit you with, like, one little simple combo, they can stun lock you for two, three hits and do it, you're dead. Why is it that I'm, what, 16 hours into the game, maybe even further? <clears throat> and a basic enemy, like a snake woman, can hit me for 90% damage with one hit. 90%! One stinking hit! It's like, what were they thinking here? You know, like, okay, you, I understand challenge. I don't understand that much of a one-sided challenge. That's just stupid. Like, how do they think that's fun? That every single time an enemy comes up, even a little dude, right, can sneak attack you out of nowhere and take your whole energy bar, right? Now, listen, I've played from software games before. I understand how it works. They're not that bad, you know? Like, usually, they give you some kind of goddamn leeway here. Um, And this game just isn't doing that at all. This game is just like, fuck you. Uh, you know... <laughs> You know, just everything kills you instantly. God forbid that you ever make a mistake or you don't do something absolutely perfectly. You're completely fucked. And I don't know, man. Like, some people like that shit. You know, that's, that's that difficult. For me, I don't know. Like, I, under, I enjoy difficulty. He's a piece of crap. <laughs> He's a lying piece of crap. I enjoy, I enjoy the philosophy of these Soulsborne-style games. This one just seems like they really are, are being assholes about it. Okay? <clears throat> I don't know what else to say. The game just seems way harder than Neo 1 to me. Maybe it's because I'm not using the spear. Maybe the spear was that crazy good in Neo 1, but it just seems to me like the game is way harder. Okay? <clears throat> now, second question. Would you be offended if someone made a parody video of your pre-stream link or your public service announcements? Um, listen. People do shit all the time to make fun of me. Alright? <clears throat> There's a difference between a parody... Which means, let's just make a poke fun and make a little bit of fun of it. And something that's actually meant to be, like, super malicious. To either make someone look bad, or to actually, like, you know, really hurt someone. Okay? And that's the difference here. Um, I don't care if someone makes a parody, if it's in good humor. 
but most of the stuff about me is not in good humor. It's, let's just completely make Phil look like a degenerate asshole, which isn't fair because the stuff that they say and do isn't true, right? It's all a big perversion of what's really true, you know? I do a PSA on every pre-stream because I legitimately know there have been people who've come to my streams and contributed and then got harassed online for it, and I don't want others to have that happen to them. And I've actually had people reach out to me and write me emails and say thank you for the PSA because I didn't know that happens. And, you know, I wanted to contribute. I, I'm glad you did this because I had no clue I would have been harassed online. So that's why I do that stuff, you know? <clears throat> um, so you want to make fun of me because I'm doing it on a stream? Fine. But you want to say something disgusting, you know, that's, that's very, very harmful. That's different. That's the difference here, okay? Laughing with someone, haha, okay, make fun of yourself. Laughing uh, at someone's expense to make them look horrible so you feel better about yourself. See what I mean? There's a little bit of a difference there. Um, but the truth of the matter is, I can't stop anyone from doing anything. I don't know why you would even ask me this, Last Rambo, because I can't stop anyone from making any kind of a video. I don't have money. If I had money to sue, I could sue everyone for defamation, and that would end all this crap. Guess what? I'm not rich, and I don't have the time for it. I'm a positive content creator. I make fun gameplay streams. I don't sit in court all day trying to sue people. Okay? Alright. Continuing on. Snow Carl cheered. says congrats on a sponsorship payday. There is no sponsorship payday, as I said in the game review of the Split Pad Pro. I did not receive any monetary compensation whatsoever or future compensation. All I got was a review copy of the product. That's it. And I'm getting nothing out of it. There's no long-term relationship or anything like that. Real life researcher, Charity says, I don't think Doom is a game for you if it's too difficult for you. Maybe try easy mode. I love you, though. It's not too difficult for me. If you haven't noticed, I'm progressing nicely. There's no, oh, Phil's reached an impasse and he cannot progress. You know, people would, people act like I'm one of these game journalists that can't beat the tutorial of a game. Um, I'm near the end of the game, so I don't know what the hell you're talking about, <laughs> you know? Um, it's not too hard for me, but because I'm criticizing the game as I play doesn't mean that it's too hard for me. Sure. It means that I have criticisms of the game. Again, this fanboy mentality needs to stop. Or just because someone criticizes a game... You have to categorize it as something negative because you love the game. Uh, Last Rambo did a cheer and says, when is the deadline for you to reach the tier 2 sub goal? The end of the month. And right now we are about 80 subs away. It's not looking very good, guys. I'm just saying. <laughs> it's not looking very good. Listen, I'm okay with that. I hope, you know, it's not that huge of a deal. Um, <clears throat> you know, I wanted to hit a tier 2 sub goal. It would have been nice. You guys were asking for a tier 2 sub goal, which is why I did it. I didn't just do it on a whim. Because I felt like it. I did it because you guys for months have been asking me for a tier 2 sub goal. Because we always seem to hit the tier 1 sub goal. So you guys wanted a stretch goal. So I sent one up. And, uh, you know. Unless someone gifts an insane amount of subs in the next two days. I'm really not seeing it happen. Mark McCauley says, hint, hint. Do no hint, hint. I'm outright telling you. John Legend from The Voice to me a dollar. Is your wife, Jasper? What? I'm not even going to read this. It's stupid. It doesn't make any sense. But thank you for the dollar tip. So by the way, guys. Reminder. The best way to, to contribute today is by tipping me. Once again, it is cloudy and rainy here in Washington. And so if we do hit the tips goal for today's stream, I will put on the vest. As silly as it is, it's been motivating people. People want to see this vest for some reason. So yes, I will put on the vest if we hit the tips goal today. All right, fair enough. We were talking about it last night, how it's the opposite of everyone else on Twitch. Everyone else on Twitch, it's like, oh, you hit, you hit a goal and they'll take clothes off. For me, I'd put more clothes on. I just keep putting clothes on. <laughs> Phil has indoctrinated children who send him money, blatantly milking for money. It's a money pit. It's gone. Just gone. Like that. In an instant. Fucking gone. I just care about money. That I just can't help it. I eBay. Contributions are mandatory. But I need your help. I am appealing directly to you. No decency, no respect, no common sense, no fucking maturity. It's the guy who just doesn't get reality.